Hi, I'm Paul, your Health Locksmith. If you're watching this video, chances are you've just been searching for smart locks for Airbnb. Good news, don't go anywhere. It's exactly what we're going to be looking at in this video. Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about Ultian Smart. This is a smart lock that's been on the market for a few months now, uh, starting to gather a little bit of momentum, but there are still some of you who may not know an awful lot about it. Um, so Ultian Smart is a collaboration between uh, Brissant, who built the Ultian Cylinder, uh, which is a diamond grade TS-77 three-star lock with a thousand pound guarantee, and Dalalock, who have done the smart element of, of uh, this product. Merging the two together, I think we've got a game changer and by far, for me, the best smart lock I've seen on the UK market. And hopefully, after you've seen this, you'll agree. So we're gonna show you some really cool stuff. So let's move the box for now. So as I alluded to just a moment ago, we still have the um, mechanical Ultian. So traditionally, this is the Ultian cylinder, uh, complete with lockdown mode. Uh, you see the diamond grade here, which we still have on the cylinder with Ultian Smart, um, and it still has lockdown mode. So if somebody was to attack this lock from the outside, with trying to use the traditional lock snapping method, the firing pin would still fire, just like in the mechanical version, and still, if I just take the key out there, and still would not be able to manipulate uh, manipulate the cylinder, keeping uh, the the would-be intruder out of your property. The thousand pound guarantee that we're all becoming accustomed to with the Ultian cylinder um, is also uh, available with Ultian Smart. So should somebody breach this lock, uh, snap the lock and gain entry, the manufacturer would still pay out a thousand pound. I wouldn't mentally spend that um, as I don't imagine anyone is going to successfully bypass the lock. So this is the app. Um, when we open it up, this is the, the key page, quite straightforward. We can see that currently the lock is locked and I'm just gonna tap the green button and we've unlocked the door. Um, you can auto lock, have it set for auto lock. You choose a time that suits you. Um, and then after that time that you've set the lock to lock for automatically, the lock will lock all by itself. I think we have set this one up for about 30 seconds, so hopefully uh, we will demonstrate that uh, any second now. Um, and then once we've done that, we'll uh, look at um, some of the other features on here. So any second now, I think this will probably lock. There we go. And there's auto unlock. So yeah, I managed to fill 30 seconds of time there. Um, again, we'll unlock it again. And you can just as easily lock it from your app as well. So whether this be a, a tablet or a smartphone, uh, you can lock and unlock your door. We'll turn it around now. As I mentioned before, you can see the sweet handle. Uh, this is how, the, how it would sit on the outside of your door. Quite conspicuous, very easy on the eye. It doesn't necessarily look um, straight away like there's a, a smart lock or any kind of smart technology in there. And I think that's probably a good thing. I think some of the earlier um, smart locks can look um, a little bit bulky or you certainly know there's something else going on there but it's not necessarily as easy on the eye whereas this just is just a, a nice sweet handle with a, with a lock anybody walking past your property won't know anything other than um, a high security lock and a, a sweet handle. The handle by the way uh, also has a 20 year guarantee in terms of the appearance so this one uh, this nice shiny chrome um, having been to the salt spray test this will look on your front door like this 20 years manufacturer's guarantee so uh so yeah it's not that you're going to buy this it looks all shiny and new for for the first few weeks and then start to rust or lose its color on the inside all the smart is in here and it's it's run by four batteries which you can change just by slipping this panel off the bottom um, and you can remove and swap the batteries over no wiring whatsoever uh, fitting this lock is as simple as three screws uh, top, bottom, and one for your actual lock cylinder, which you replace. So um, this is this is not uh, a terribly difficult lock to install. 
Uh, there are two sizes of handles, so this one would be our long handle where the screw distance between the top screw and the bottom screw is 211 millimeters. There is the short version where the top screw sits underneath the handle, another common size uh, where the measurement from, from the screw here to the bottom screw would be 122 millimeters. Um, the lock on the inside, this would act as a mechanical thumb turn. Um, if you had no power, if all the batteries went kaput, you still got your key over, right? As you see, we've got the keyway on the outside, and this will turn just as a mechanical thumb turn. You just twist it, thing, finger and thumb, to lock and unlock. Uh, but you can also have twist assist, which uh, we will demonstrate now. So if I just give this a bit of a tap, and the motor takes over and it's unlocked the door for me. So if anybody struggles using the hands, um, any sort of dexterity, uh, problems or issues then twist assist is a really nice feature again I'm not going to talk for 30 seconds for auto lock but what you can do if you're locking the door as well we'll just do that a tap the other way and again the motor's taken over and it's locked the door for me a really nice neat feature really simple but it, it's a feature that I've found with a lot of my customers has been uh, very well uh, welcomed so the lock itself um, there are four uh, to choose from in terms of uh, connectivity. So this one on here is Bluetooth. So everything that we've talked about is is available from the most basic, uh, basic Ulti and Smart. Uh, there is a Z-Wave and Zigbee enabled uh, versions, uh, which are £30 extra each. Uh, these allow you to connect to uh, products like Samsung Smart Things. So if you already have a smart home setup or you're or thinking of building a smart home setup and you want your lot to integrate with other products, so say for example you want your uh, your smart light to come on when the door unlocks, uh, you can do that with the Zigbee Z-Wave versions. There is also an Apple HomeKit version, but I will say this, but the Apple HomeKit version of the lock, it doesn't work through the Danalock app. So what we're showing here, it works through its own, through the Apple app. So uh, the features may be just slightly different. Um, so everything that we're doing here, um, will look and feel the same on Zigbee Z-Wave and Bluetooth. Apple HomeKit will be slightly different, but if you already have an Apple HomeKit at home or a hub, and you're already building up your Apple smart home experience, if you like, then there is an Apple HomeKit version um, of this lock uh, available. So moving on, so we've briefly gone over some of the some of the uh, some of the features um, that that were around from the beginning. But since we launched this product, uh, very soon after we launched it, uh, we launched the um, Bluetooth keypad. So again, no wiring whatsoever. This is just four AAA batteries that fit into the back. You'll fit a bracket to your wall, uh, as long as it's within Bluetooth range of your door. And then that just clicks in, this, this will just twist and click into your wall. So, um, I would never ever suggest you use the code 1234 as your code, but as this is a demo, we've, uh, we've done what uh, ordinarily I wouldn't do, but let's give this a try. So one, two, three, four, and unlock. And there we go, we've unlocked the door. So this is perfect for anybody who has, whether it be carers, um, whether it be a dog walker, cleaner, um, or if you've got teenage uh, children going to school and rather than give them a key to come home and let themselves in, if they've simply got a, a key code in there or a pin code in their heads, then uh, it's very difficult to lose. Um, when you leave the property, um, you can leave the door, uh, shut the, pull the door shut, lift the handle if you need to lift the handle. Oh, so we've just timed out. Let's, uh, we'll open this again. And I'm gonna show you the quick lock. So we've unlocked it. We should pull the door shut. We lift the handle and then you've got one touch button here which um, which locks the door. So a nice easy way, because I know us Brits, what we like to do before we walk away from our door is we like to test the handle. Um, so by doing, by having the keypad without having to look for a key or keep your phone in your hand or wait for auto unlock to happen, you can just pull the door shut, lift the handle if, if, you, if you have a mechanism where you need to lift the handle and then press one button. So without having to look for any sort of device or key to lock your door, you can press one button, test the handle and walk away safely in the knowledge that you've locked the door. Bear in mind though, you can always look, having left, foot, left uh, walked away from your door, you can always check your phone to see if your door is locked. But 
as I say, us Brits, I know we like to test the handle. So that's the keypad, uh, which is also available on our website. So we've got all of the um, all, all the different various um, finishes on Ulti and Smart, um, including the scutching version. If you don't have a handle, um, you might just have the scutching on your door. A lot of the, the, the uh, fairly new composite doors uh, seem to come that way now. Uh, so there is an option on there. You'll see all the pricing and all the different finishes, the five colours uh, that it comes in, as well as chrome, gold, uh, brushed steel, white and black. Uh, you can also mix and match so if the colour of the handle on the inside of the door needs to be set a uh, different colour to the outside of your door, you can mix and match those colours. Um, we've done a few where I think we've had black on the outside, chrome on the inside seems to be quite common. And I think there are certain new, build, uh, certain new builds that um, are set up that way uh, when people move in. So that is all doable. Now, new product alert. Um, I'm going to show you down a bridge. So I mentioned earlier, if you've got Z-Wave or Zigbee, um, you can you can sort of uh, access your lock via, uh, for example, Samsung Smart Things is is probably one of the better known ones. Um, this allows you to pair the product up with other products that are smart and are talking to the same hub. Um, it also allows you to lock and unlock your door from anywhere else because you're they're not using it through Bluetooth anymore, you're using it through the internet. So what if you only have a Bluetooth, what, you've gone for the Bluetooth handle, you're not too bothered about pairing this uh, handle up with other products. Uh, so you've got Bluetooth, a standalone product, but actually you would value or wouldn't mind being able to control your lock and your keypad from anywhere. And that's why we have down the bridge. Small box, this connects to your Wi-Fi wirelessly. You just plug this in, um, it connects to your Wi-Fi, um, so it will speak to your internet through the Wi-Fi and then it will speak to your, uh, these two products here through Bluetooth. Now, difficult to uh, demonstrate on these products in front of me because um, I'm here and they'd be in Bluetooth range, but I'm just gonna go back onto my keypad. So this is the lock we've just been looking at. So if I demonstrate that again, here's lock, uh, unlocked, see the status changed, and locked. If I swipe over, this is now my, my actual front door. You can see now, normally if, if it wasn't attached to down a bridge, um, all of this would be greyed out because we're out of Bluetooth range. But you can see here, there's some connectivity. We've got this blue ring around here uh, with the, the word bridged above it because we, we have set up down a bridge with our home door. You can see that doesn't exist on this demo one. So, so straight away I can see that we've, got, um, that we've bridged this through down a bridge. So I want to know now if my front door from where I am now, I'm not in Bluetooth range. Is my front door locked or unlocked? So I'm just gonna tap here and ask the question. And what's happening now, oh, there we go, that was quick. What's happening there is the Dana Bridge um, is, is talking to through Wi-Fi and is also speaking to, to this device, uh, to my handle in Bluetooth, and is now telling me that it's, it's currently locked. If I tap the green, I will unlock my door. I'm not in Bluetooth range, so if I know there's somebody at my door that I want to let in, I can let them in. So, what about the, um, what about, uh, let's have a look, the keypad. So, I'm just gonna pop onto my.danalock.com. So if I just pop onto my.download.com, you sign in using the credentials when you set up your, uh, your smart lock, which is quite simply an email and a password. And then you'll see uh, that I've got a dashboard. It's got my demo lock and my home lock. I'm just going to press on my front door, which gives me this box here. And just here, we've got pin codes. So now that we have done the bridge, when I go into my uh, my.download.com, I can now alter my pin codes for my front door, uh, or in fact any door. If I if I had several properties and I done a bridge in each of them, I would be able to click on the relevant door that I want to manage and the keypad I want to manage, 
and I could then control, set up and delete um, uh, uh, pin codes from anywhere. So you can see there, it's just gathering the information from my lock about my current and existing keypad uh, key codes. So suddenly I now have remote access and remote control. So if I'm managing a lock and I want to let somebody in, I can unlock the door for them. Or if I've gone away on holiday and I think, oh, do you know what? I forgot to set up that code for the dog walker or set up the code for the cleaner to come in while we're away. Um, I can quite simply pop onto my.download.com anywhere where I've got internet access and I can now set up a code so that the people who need access have got access. If I decide I want to delete somebody, I can be not even in the country, if I've got internet access, I can just pick on their code um, and we'll have a go, there you go, so the bottom one there, I'm going to delete it. And that's going to delete from me in a moment. There we go, gone. So that fourth code which I've created is now wiped off the off my front door. So altogether, great product, great product. Uh, whether it's for whether you're managing a um, a number of properties, uh, particularly serviced accommodation or Airbnb type properties, you can see the value here. If it's uh, for somebody who has carers um, and and maybe nursing staff, fantastic. If you've got um, um, a young family who you would rather trust with a, a pin code than a key, great solution. Um, or if you've if you've got dog walkers or cleaners, other staff that, that come in and out, um, again you can you can really manage and control the access to your property, and it just looks so stylish. Um, the pricing starts from two two nine from the handle. Uh, the keypad we retail for one hundred and ten. Um and yeah, it's 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 all there, nice and easy to use, easy to fit. If you're in the West Yorkshire area, we can fit these products for you. Uh, but if you're outside of West Yorkshire, uh, we're we're posting UK wide. So yeah, that's uh, Alti and Smart summed up for you. Um, if you like this video, you know, do give us a give us a a, a comment or a, a share. And um, otherwise, there'll be a link. Uh, around this video depending where you're seeing it whether it's YouTube or Facebook but depending where you're picking this video up from there'll be a link um, in the description or the comments or somewhere uh, that will take you straight through to the online store we'll have another link as well that will take you straight through to our um, Ultimate Smart brochure page and uh, if you have any questions by all means get in touch you can call Helpbox on 0800 002 uh, or jump over to helpbox.com thank you very much